What's going on guys? It's me today here. We are finally doing the return of Sonic's 30th anniversary. Now for those who are new to the channel and don't know what happened, 30th anniversary, my first 30th anniversary, uh, had a defect in its uh, product. So its circuit board was not working properly, so the light switch to turn it on or off wasn't functioning properly, so I requested a brand new replacement. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up, so let's get to it. thing is, is that this time, now that if this replacement works properly, we won't have to worry about having to wait for another majority of days to get a replacement. And the best thing is, is that this didn't come out of my own pocket, and if this did, we would have had issues, but that's a good thing because I didn't have to pay for this replacement. So, just got put this one side done. This is the that the face is on. So, of course, the statue replacements don't get a number because the number I'm assigned to was 77. So, statue number 77 was the product number of the statue. And so, of course, uh, we are going to... Go ahead and get the base out, sit it right over here. Now everything that the context of this came with is going to be tossed out because the entire product was already I already got the styrofoam in the art box so this the box is going to be thrown out but every other component will be staying and so of course we got to get the ring out it is not easy doing this in here. So if this works, we will celebrate. I'm not entirely sure with what, but we're just going to celebrate knowing the fact is, is that first the figures kept their promise. Sonic's head. We're gonna go ahead and set his head. Over here. And now we are going to conduct an experiment. where we will test out 
the ring get it in there there we go all right and so A little wobbly of the ring, not like the first time. It was very more secure the last time it was in. Just gotta make sure that the ring. There we go, much better. I guess I just didn't put it all the way in. All right, so we're gonna rotate the base right over here. To save us time, we're not going to put the battery in unless if our experiment works. So, I got a charger exactly designed for this. So, I'm a little shaky right now. So, here goes nothing. It didn't turn on. And it's plugged right in. And now, for the second half of the test. It works! It really works! I can actually turn it on and off with its button. This is good. This is what I expect. Now, people are gonna probably say, why did I go through all the trouble of getting a replacement when, I, when it was working basically just fine, even when I had it plugged in? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It is not intended for these things to be required to be plugged in and then pl pulled back out, unplugged and plugged back in in order to even have it to work. And so what I'm going to do now is just got to pull the ring out. They didn't uh, come with a replacement battery. They probably knew I'd probably keep the battery. So this is the battery from the first version. And so we're gonna go ahead and put the battery in. And so I am very thankful the f fact that I think it put it in. I think I hopefully put it in, put it in the battery, put it in the slot correctly, because you don't really get any uh, ability to tell if the thing is in. So we're gonna make sure. Oh, yep. 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 All right. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna definitely keep the charger. I always want to have more of those. So, all right. Well, now we can actually get to putting the statue fully together. So, we're going to go ahead and trade spots with. Actually, no. We're going to put Sonic's head over here because we need to give some extra space. But I also got to put the battery cover back on so Why is that bracket down there I do not know but I'm not gonna nitpick at a small little crack that's probably gonna get covered by Sonic's uh, foot by the time all right so now time to fully put this big guy back this big thing back together yeah uh, this there we go 
And now we are going to take Sonic's body. Head on. And we are going to be using his hand that makes a fist because it's going to be accurate to the artwork box of every uh, 30th anniversary product you buy. And so we are going to go ahead and Connect there. If you know, this is not really easy doing it like this, so I gotta rotate the base a little, I gotta rotate the entire thing. Because it's not really easy to rotate this thing by hand. So, here we go. There we go. It was it seemed like a little harder to get him on, so you know, time to rotate Sonic around. All right, so the fact that thirtieth anniversary finally works properly and I don't need to do anything else but just push the button this is what I expect now I'm going to simply ask a majority of you who are watching for the birthday Q&A video that I will be doing for September 20 this year we got to get a lot of more questions flowing through because there's only about five people who actually asked a question and I can't really do it with just five people. I got to get a lot more questions flowing in. It's got to be a real banger because it's 24 years because I'm turning 24 this year. And so uh, there's that. And then of course uh, you all know that I did a community post regarding which Sonic statue should I get for my birthday this year. And so I chose to get and so you all chose to have me get classic Super Sonic. And so that will be a working progress, but but now the fact that this is a hundred percent more complete because a defective piece does not flow well with me, and so I would just like to say thank you all for su supporting me and my channel for all these years, and uh, stick around for the next. Uh, first four figure sonic opening video and stay tuned for the adventures of sonic and equestria season eight because it's going to be a huge uh show and well without further ado uh i will see you guys in the next video so peace <laughs>